Nice push. Come on. All right. Cues is almost to that level. I was like, Cues is at his trend. Uh, Good trade for you on the recording. Um, I uh, shorted this move on SPY this morning. It, it broke pre market lows. I flagged back. Everything else looked pretty weak. Q sliced right through previous close and pre market lows. So I just flagged back and I bought into this and scalped this move out. Made $150 on it on the day. Um, doesn't look like much on a one minute chart, but that premium was moving very nice. I mean, four contracts, $150 um, within a few minutes. So that's not that bad at all. Now you will see that I um, I scaled out of one, and that was just because I knew that this this was my risk, right? So I, I sold one to get my position small. That way, when I added up here, it would pull that average closer to the risk. It's just a little trick that I do, um, especially if you don't have much damage on your PL at that time. It's just a little trick that I do for when I'm coming into my risk. And the, really, that's the level that I wanted that I knew it was going to get a reaction there. So I wanted my average to be as close to the initial move, the initial reaction as possible. Uh, I really wanted this long on cues this morning, but seeing all this, I was just uninterested in a day, especially after uh, made, making $150. It's very specific after that on that point. So I wanted this test right here on this trend, uh, but I was gone at that time. Anyway, um, if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. I just I um, record live videos of me trading options on spy cues. Um, let me know in the comments how you did today. Uh, do you like this trade? Did you uh, trade good today? Uh, let me know what happened in the comments. All right, thanks. Enjoy the enjoy the trade. Hi right, guys, bell just rang. Trying to hunt a good trade here. Spy looks a little weak. Q's held previous close, hit a higher low right above previous close. So, interesting. You got this nice trend here on SPY I'm, I'm kind of looking at. Just giving in a second, let these dudes shake out. Normally I would take Q's long here, previous close, but gonna give it a second. Maybe a little nuts and puts on SPY, we'll see. 3.23.72. All right, loading up the 324s on Qs, calls. Wanted to get a little bit lower. Sometimes Qs makes it to her level. Sometimes she don't. Let's see. Right now, I got some bit of risk where I want it. And my 35 cent risk if I start right, right up in here. 320 level. I got about. 40 risks, so right. I think right now the risk is just too wide. All right, looks like she's bear flagging. Gonna come down a little bit lower. I mean, if she gets bought up beforehand, then um, just is what it is. Spot looks weak. Had that big squeeze yesterday afternoon. If you watched my video yesterday, I said that I bought a nine day call in here. I was gonna ride it up, but I, I got to thinking about all this grind and it's. All these shorts that could have piled in yesterday on all these tops. Squeezing this up, there probably wasn't any real buyers or big chance she could get down overnight. And she did. Glad I didn't hold. No no real buyers yesterday afternoon. Excuse broke previous lows and pre-market lows. Spy broke them all without a proper retest. I guess you can consider this pre-market action a proper retest of previous close on Spy. We entertain a short. On spy, maybe. Alright, I'm entertaining a put on spy. Opening order, Phil. Just a speculative uh, play here. I had one more. Opening order, Phil. Closing order, Phil. Sell one and then get back into. Opening order, Phil. And I got my average down from 230 to 218. Alright, five's coming into a five minute 9 EMA. Gonna have one more. Opening order, Phil. All right, in with four. On the spy short. 216 is the average on these puts. Uh, right now we're hovering at 210. Not bad. <clears throat> I did so one, so when I added up here, my, it would help my average out. 
So a sacrifice uh, looks like I lost 20 bucks on that one. Wow. Just waiting for it to come in. So you got a shallow dip, lower low, and a bearish flag kind of angle to it. Ain't a perfect flag, but contracts are green. But I did sell one, so I'm a little bit behind on my P&L. All good. Just size down real quick. Actually, I, sh I could have sized down a little bit quicker, but it's all good. Still like the trade. Remember, I'm in at four. <clears throat> right now, my whole uh, account's green. Like this uh, bear flag on a five. For a little speculative trade, it ain't bad. Closing order. So one Sell. down in the lows right here. Morning lows. See if we could push. Got that trend down below. Fell, fell in these moving averages on a daily chart. Uh, almost 410, baby. We'll see. 410 is about where that trend is. Break the lows. I sell one more. Here we go. Closing order. Fell. Got two left. Watching this five minute chart. Closing order. Fill. All right, got one more. What a killer day. Can I get. Try and be patient with this last uh, contract. Nice push. Come on. All right, Q's is almost to that level. I was like, Q's is at his trend. Q's is on this five minute chart. Q's is at that trend. So went ahead and sold. Made 150 on that. Uh, I do got to go to the dentist in a little bit. I do want this long, though. We're going to see how Q's reacts down here. All right, guys. So uh, let's review this little short right here. <clears throat> Saw the weakness on a day. Broke and uh, retested previous uh, close during the uh, pre-market session. Broke this green line's pre-market lows. Broke it. So lower low, right? And just kind of flagged back. So I kind of averaged into this 9 EMA on the 5. Uh, kind of risking off this 411.90 area, which was 30 cent risk. Got in with 2, sold 1 on the descent up because I did get in. Well, I got in on a 9 on the uh, 1 minute. Uh, so I sold 1 to help my average out because I knew that I was going to be getting in up here. So I was in with a total of four contracts and wrote this down and made $152. Here's my exits. Pretty much every candle push I got out. That wasn't bad. Uh, we'll see. Technically a lower low on Q's, but it is close to that trend. Um, SPY looks good. We'll see. I may be getting in the long. I may not. But then again, not holding this 411.90, which was a pretty important level on that daily chart. You see that? It's kind of like the line in the sand here for this previous uh, range. And it's been struggling with for a while since uh, really the uh, beginning of April. It's May 10th right now, May 11th. So then it. Keeps breaking all this moving average congestion. It's a 20, the 5, and a 9. So I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what trade did you trade today. Did you have a good day? And uh, let me know. See you later.